right, y'all. I got to show y'all this. This is hands down my best test pan I've ever done in my life. Uh, I've had cleanups worse than this. Uh, Justin, he could testify to that. But yeah, y'all come look at this. Here it is. That is a lot of nice gold. And look at all that lead shot I pulled out with it. Just one test pan. All right, y'all, we're back down here on the creek. I'm with Justin, X4 Prospect, and then behind him is Stephen Pendergraft. Man, we're gonna try to pump some material. We got the high banker slash dredge hooked up, uh, but we're gonna get back to it. Uh, we got everything primed. Uh, we got everything hooked up, and we're gonna try to find some gold. Y'all stay tuned. Bedrock on this creek is pretty shallow. Uh, we're trying to get that top layer gone so he could get on down to bedrock and find that pretty yellow stuff. This is one of the tasks pretty much everybody was doing throughout the day, was just clearing rocks as they accumulated. I don't know if we've ever put this much material through this box, but we were moving some stuff. found the clay layer um, a little above bedrock that held a lot of material, a lot of gravel, a lot of grit. And uh, what we're doing right here is just trying to get all that through it. Justin, who's doing the test pan from that area where I'm about to go, making sure we're staying on the gold. the top mat out see how much gold we had we ran for about what would you say justin about two and a half hours yeah about two and a half hours i think we're getting about yeah two and a half hours out of the tank of gas and we're doing a tank of gas then cleaning the top mat then we'll keep going uh but we've test panned uh this whole time found, uh, a lot of gold. found a lot of gold just test panning um we've taken turns just alternated running the the nozzle and man it's worked out i don't think anybody here is really dead uh just having a good time finding some gold let me show you what we got in this cleanup here in a second and i want to show y'all uh the dredge mat that justin got uh when did it come in yesterday yeah literally yesterday he got it in yesterday he sent me a picture of it and it looks sick so let me show y'all that that's the normal size dream mat so So this is just the extra sluice we put down at the end, but what we're finding is not a whole lot's coming into here. It's all getting trapped up there. But look at this mat. This whole endeavor is definitely evolving as we're going. Yeah. We're figuring out what works and what doesn't work. But man, we're having a blast doing it. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna bring you clean up. And if you like this mat, uh, come check my channel out. Use my promo code X4, the dollar sign, five. That's the promo code. Save you five bucks. There you go, y'all. Every penny adds up, especially in this rabbit hole we call gold prospecting.
That's right. Pretty gold. That's a nice piece of it. Oh yeah. Get the picker. Nice. Awesome. We got a picker. Might have a few in there. Oh yeah. These are I mean that thing's coarse. Some chunky gold. A lot of lead shot too. It's a so beautiful that sight. Top mat just about beat our first day. Yeah, it definitely beat our first day, I think. Got a little bit floating. Oh. He's just checking to make sure, and I don't think we lost any. About two and a half hours of runtime. Cleaned out the top mat. Look at that pretty North Carolina gold, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. This is just a top mat. We're gonna find some more gold. In a lot of ways, we're pretty, pretty blessed. We got three guys running with one piece of equipment. Um, and one of us is always testing ahead of the other guy or right behind him, making sure that we're following the gold. Um, you know, we've pumped a lot of material through this box before, not done that great, but uh, we came in with the intentions today to try to stay on the gold and find it. Um, and as you, you'll see through this video, um, if one person isn't dredging, one person's working the box, or the other two guys are doing test pans. I mean, it was, never ending um this material is pretty pretty packed in there um that whole bar right there been there a while and the bedrock is pretty shallow so we couldn't couldn't run a lot of material with our shovel we tried to clear the rocks uh ahead of other guys trying to make room for them and uh we found that that prepping area getting the larger rocks out of the way for the guy that's coming in there dredging really makes a world of difference as far as how the dredge runs and just how much material we can get through there because if the guy spends all his time moving rocks he's not putting a lot of material through the box so we try to help each other out it's definitely a team effort i don't know about y'all but i just can't get enough of this high banker that paul jarvis built uh, shout out to justin for you know, reaching out to him and making it happen uh, this is his high banker his pump definitely an experience and I'm thankful to be able to run it with them. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, makes it a whole lot easier than with a shovel and pan. Look at this thing. There's a stick. There's a stick. Look at that. It's the work of art. Of course, you got to have the three mats. Y'all, check out this test pan. Look at 
that piece of gold. Is it a picker? It's a picker. Look at that. That was awesome. I love seeing that. Good job, buddy. Yes. All right, y'all. I got to show y'all this. This is hands down my best test pan I've ever done in my life. Uh, I've had cleanups worse than this. Uh, Justin, he could testify to that. But yeah, y'all come look at this. Here it is. That is a lot of nice gold. Look at all that lead shot. I pulled out with it. That's one test pan. All right, y'all, we are shutting down. Doing a clean up on the top mat real quick. I think we're going to take a quick little lunch break. We'll be back. I always watch people's faces and try to see their reaction before I see their gold um, when they're doing the reveal. And this is a prime example of when the when the gold's good, you know, pretty quick. You can't fake that smile on someone's face when they see gold in a pan. You just can't. And this guy's ear to ear at the moment. That is a nice picker. Look at that, y'all. Oh, Damn. man. Good job, y'all. Heck yeah. All right, my gold's flooding away. We're going to have to get the jet dry. Boom. Check that out, guys. Check that out, guys. <laughs> Some pretty Ooh, gold. It is. Nice cores. Yeah. A smile for a smile. There you go. We're going to keep going. stacked and jammed in there you can't you got to pry them out and there's decent gold at the bottom of it and in between them and on all that mud that's stuck to those rocks Stephen and I are focused on this uh, section of bedrock, uh, mainly because we pulled a lot of nice test pans out of this hole. Uh, it was all stacked and jammed um, in that jagged bedrock. Uh, wasn't a whole lot of shoveling you could do with this material. You just kind of had to go with the flow and exploit where it was weak and get as much of that material through that box as you can. tell y'all we test panned all day i mean we test panned all day um, and 
and it paid off. Uh, I think we did a good job of following the gold today. I don't know if anyone can relate or not, but this is probably the third time John has snuck up on me on the creek. Um, he never fails to do it. Uh, it's pretty funny. I don't know if he's half ghost or what, but the dude just preached through the wood. And, uh, yeah, he got us again. test pan that he pulled from out of there and I'll be honest with you I wish I would have got this one on on video but uh y'all will see some of the gold at the end we're gonna keep going Y'all, look at this. John showed up. He blessed us with his presence. And uh, good to see this guy right here. He's been out prospecting in Uwari. He said he's got a pocket full of gold. Couldn't be happier for him. Working that potato pan. Shut down. I'm gonna see how much gold's in this box. <laughs> I think it was just barely holding on, man. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> you gonna clean them separate? Uh, yeah. I'll clean that top mat or that mat out while it's on. Clean them separate. See, so have part of the gold go out. All right, y'all. This is the tail end of the sluice. Three to four specks. That's it. And the main drain mat. That's what we pulled out of it. And this is what we got in the hopper. Not a bad take. We'll be back here in a little bit with a snuffer dump. There's a snuffer dump for the day. Check out all that pretty gold. Justin's going to get it back home, dry it out, weigh it up. We'll see what we got. Thank you all for watching. All right, y'all. This is our take for the day, courtesy of X4 Prospect, and I couldn't be happier with the results. Um, and I really did enjoy this day. Uh, we had a blast, moved a lot of material. Um, I enjoy linking up with these guys every weekend. Um, 
It's an absolute blast digging with them and I really enjoy sharing these experiences on the creek with y'all. Um, Justin, Steven and I all guest to gold weight. And you'll have to watch Justin's video tomorrow to see who got the closest. But I can tell you it wasn't me. And with that, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good day.